Hello! Welcome back, everybody, and this is my second take on this episode of Fantasy Star 4, because for some crazy reason, my first take, or my first file, somehow either got corrupt, or I don't know what the hell happened, because it wouldn't let me render, and I kept getting unexpected errors around 40%. Whatever. Anyways, between episodes, um... I gain, I got some new equipment for everybody, mostly defensive equipment. Elise has a carbon crown and a carbon suit. Uh, Chaz has a carbon helm and a carbon suit. Han has a circlet. And Rune got a circlet as well, so that's the only difference in equipment. And I also got some new skills, which I'll be showing you in our, in the, uh, whenever we fight our next battle. But first we have this little cutscene here. Say ya! Han, you've come home. I'm so happy. So happy. So happy. Say, I've missed you. Let me introduce you to everyone. This is my <clears throat> fiancé, Seiya. Fiancé? It's a pleasure to meet you. What the hell? My name is Seiya. Seiya teaches children here in her home. Wow, I'm impressed. Me too. Yes, me too. Oh, no. It's, what? It's... Oh, no. Elise and Chaz are hunters. They are assisting me in my task. It's a difficult job, isn't it? Thank you for taking care of Han. No, don't you worry. Everything will be okay. But, if anything... <coughs> Excuse me. But if anything were to happen to you, I say ya. Han! Oh, it's so sweet! Oh, you too! Oh, gee whiz! Let's get out of here. This town sucks. I guess that's it for the cutscene. <laughs> Anyways, now we gotta head north through the cave, um, which le which will lead us to to know where supposedly this uh, thing we need is at. Anyway, let's show you some of our new skills we got in battle here. Uh, Chaz got cross cut. I'll go ahead and show that off. Han didn't really get anything new. Actually, I think I missed something. Oh well. I also show actually I'll show off Hune first. I don't think I showed that yet. It's um, Rune's awesome, one of Rune's awesome abilities. All right, let's keep heading north. So I'm gonna show off Chaz's ability, and I think Elise got a new one too. The entrance is blocked. No sweat. This should be a cinch. Everyone, stand back. Abracadabra, lebra, batrabra, flatlale! Boom! And then there was a hole. Wow! Shall we go? That's art. That art he just used, I've never seen it before. The technique's different, too. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've gotten never seen it before. This is what they call magique. Magique? Magique. <laughs> Let's go, everybody. Uh, Alright, more abilities to show off. Zon. And crosscut, I will show off. Everyone else just attack. This is Zon. Kind of weak, not very useful. And this is cross cut. Bam! Awesome ability. Gets a lot stronger later on, and we get better ones later on. Yay. Let's keep going. Also, I'm going to show you the macros, and I'll show you how that works. Antidote. Actually, I'll show you right now. What I did here is if you go to macros, I'll go ahead and create one in slot C. I put Elise. Technique, I put in uh, Foy. Chaz, Technique, I put in Tsu. Han, Technique, I put in Wat. And Rune, I put in... Uh, I think it was Gra or Foy. And yes, that is the macro I will do, and I'll show you how it works. So if you put certain techniques, which I'll show you right now, perfect time to use it. Check it out. Okay, it didn't work that time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What happens is you get a amazing combo that works against these enemies. And I'll keep trying it until I get it. Ooh, wow, Gra is awesome. And the way this combo works is it will use up a lot of magic of all three of my party members at the same time. Come on, there you go, Tri Blaster. Look at that. And just completely owns. It wastes a ton of magic though when you do that. So it's useful, but it's not. It's mostly useful against bosses, and if you're just trying to grind levels. So keep that in mind. All right, let's do it again. Ah, damn it! Zoo! 
What? Now, I'm probably gonna... Man, I'm gonna try... I, I'm gonna try rendering this again. I don't know, maybe I need to just change the formats of the way I render, because... I've been rendering all my videos for the last couple months as MP4s, but... Lately, it's been giving me nothing but proms. Nice, Han leveled up. But yeah, it's been giving me nothing but proms, these, uh... These, um... These videos, for some reason. My files are huge as it is, too big. It's almost 400 megs, 300 and something megs of video. So it's pretty large, and my quality is good, but for 400 megs, I should have, like, outstanding quality, just per perfect quality, and I don't, in my opinion. So... I don't know, I'm gonna play around with it, see if I can get it, maybe a, a WMV format or something like that, I don't know, but I'll just have to play around with it and see what comes out of it. But anyways, back to the game here, um, like, Elise, my favorite character so far is definitely Elise just because of her little quirkiness and uh, how she treats Han and pretty much everyone, she doesn't take, as a woman she takes shit from nobody, that's what makes her awesome like that. Macro! Foy! Yeah! Oh, now you use Tri Blaster against one guy? What a waste. Yep, yep. Alright, and this, like I said before, this game does get a lot harder as we go on. But anyway, welcome to the village of Tano. This is Tano. Hey, how did you get in here? We blew some shit up, motherfucker. Yeah, I've heard about what's going on in Mulcum. That darn Zeo. Anyway, we're just gonna ignore everything for now, and we're gonna head into this little tent here and talk to this guy. I'm the information monger, Grandfather Doran. What exactly do you want to ask? Is it about the seeker of refining titanium? Titanium? Nah, I don't care about that. You want to know why the path to this village is blocked by rock? No, because it's no longer blocked. We destroyed it. Then, do you want to know the measurements of that famous and beautiful hunter, Elise Bra Brangwin, also known as the Eight Stroke Warrior? Yes. Now you're talking. Starting from the top, 3620. Oh! <laughs> Yowch! What are you doing? It's Elise, you dumbass. How dare you strike me without warning? Huh? Yikes, Elise Bradwin! You blabbing old fart! Do you tell every single fool who comes here my measurements? She's gonna punch him again. Oh, help me! Ruin! It's you, Ruin! Please help! You don't change, do you, old man? Please excuse him, will you, Elise? The old man doesn't have any bad intentions. That's why I put up with it. Grandfather Doran, I came to retrieve the item I entrusted you in your care. Also, these people are looking for Ashline. Ah, if you want his Ashline, feel free to take whatever you need. It's in the back of the basement warehouse out back. Go help yourself. Thank you, Elise, let's go. Oh, wait. That place is unused right now, so... It may be a teensy bit dangerous. Grizz, will you guide these people? My pleasure. My name is Grizz. Nice to meet you. Well, I have some business with Grandfather Doran here, so I'll say so long here. Oh, yeah, Pips Pipskook. I've had enough of you! Don't get any silly thoughts, like taking on Zeo into that little head. <gasps> huh? What's going on? What's going on? Guys. Guys, <laughs> at this stage of the game, you're no match for him. Maybe our paths will cross again. Elise? Yeah? Take care. Me taking on Zeo. Thanks, Ron. Awkward moment! What's going on? <laughs> Anyways, we got a new character in our group. Let's check it out. Grizz. He is level 6. Matavian, and he's the age of 19 years old. Yeah, Skippy. Anyways, before we head into the next year, I just want to check out... I think there's a weapon shop here somewhere. Oh, it's a Parmenian. Don't have anything to sell you, blah, blah, blah. Get out of the way. Welcome to the weapon shop. Yep. What do you need? Bye. So he's got some new stuff, as you can see here. Um, titanium sword, titanium dagger, titanium slicer. All stuff I'm going to get off screen between episodes. And the armor shop is... I believe down here. This looks food, I think. Uh, 
Yeah, armor shop is right over here. And there's some ti other titanium armors we gotta get, so we'll be doing all that between episodes. Let's head to our next area with the 40 seconds we have left of the episode. So it's easy, all you do is just go to this tent up here. And... Oof, it's rusted shut! Oh, there's a little trick to opening this door. Just hold here, like so, and then one, two, three, lift! Oh, Grizz got skills! It's open! Great, let's go in. Alright, but we'll have to go in in our next episode. This has been Dario8676 saying, I love you all! See you next time.